The world is constantly changing and technology is always moving forward. Nowadays, more organizations and industries rely on computers, apps, and the internet to operate their businesses. As a result, there is now a significant surge in demand for IT professionals who can write code and develop applications. Learning to code has now become an essential skill and choosing the right programming language can definitely kickstart your career to new heights. What's up guys? So today in this video, we're gonna be counting down our top picks for the top 10 programming languages for 2023. We will discuss what these languages are best used for and even point you to some amazing resources where you can start learning. Whether you're a beginner or already an experienced coder, I hope this video will help you make the decision on what would be your next programming language to learn. So let's get started. In number 10, Rust. Rust is a modern programming language developed by Mozilla, the maker of the ever-popular Firefox web browser, and it was launched back in 2010. Rust is a systems programming language that allows you to build safe and secure high-performance programs inside operating systems. Rust is also used for developing blockchain solutions. While other programming languages feature an automatic garbage collection for managing memory, Rust's approach is different from the rest. It uses a borrow checker that ensures that the memory used from variables can be borrowed and reused elsewhere, making it ideal for systems that need high performance with limited resources. Rust has a low learning curve since the syntax is actually quite easy to read. You can also develop web applications with Rust, thanks to web frameworks such as Rocket. And you can also build desktop applications with Tori. The average salary for Rust developers ranges from 59,000 US dollars and can go even more than $100,000, depending on skill levels and years of experience. For our number nine, we have Ruby. Ruby is an open source programming language created in 1995. It aims to be a simplistic and fun to use programming language. In Ruby, everything is treated as an object, which then allows developers to extend the functionality to support more complex logic. The popular framework for Ruby is Ruby on Rails, which boosted the popularity of the language to a general wider audience. The framework allowed the building of interactive, full stack web applications with very little effort and development time. What's great about Ruby is its versatility. While it is mainly used for building web applications, you can also develop applications for systems and even develop games on it. The syntax for Ruby is clean and easy to read and write, making it a good choice for those new to programming. The average salary of a Ruby developer is around 85,000 US dollars and can go higher with more years of experience. And for our number eight, we have C++. C++ is a general purpose programming language with a long history since it has been around for more than 40 years. Developed by Bjarne Strusrup, it was a fork out of the original programming language called C, which has paved the way for many of the modern programming languages today. It aims to develop software systems that are efficient, fast and secure. And the systems built from C++ are widely used in a variety of industries, such as gaming, finance systems, and even entire operating systems. The learning curve for C++ may not be similar to the other ones from this list, as it is quite steep, but it's definitely worth the time and investment. The average salary of a C++ developer comes to 77,000 US dollars and goes higher with more experience. And for our number seven, we have C Sharp. C Sharp is a general purpose, object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft in the 2000s. It was developed as a modern and simplified version of the C language and can be used to develop a wide variety of software, such as interactive web pages, desktop and mobile applications, and cloud-based services. You can even develop games using C Sharp through the Unity game engine. The syntax for C Sharp is similar to C where it is based from, so you should be able to pick it up right away if you come from that language. For those who are new to programming, you will find C Sharp is easy to learn as this is the more simplified version. If you're interested in writing applications for Microsoft-based solutions, products, and even games for the Windows operating system, C Sharp is definitely one of the programming languages that you should consider. The average salary of a C-Sharp developer goes from around 70,000 USD to more than $100,000 for more senior and experienced developers. And for our top six, we have Java. Similar to the previous programming languages, Java is also a high-level and object-oriented programming language, and it's used for developing web and mobile applications. With Java, you write once, and then you can basically run it everywhere. 
Java is cross-platform compatible, so apps that you develop with Java are compatible anywhere that has the JRE or the Java runtime environment. Its syntax is similar to other languages like C and C++ and should be easy to pick up and learn, especially if you're coming from one of those languages. One special feature of Java is that you can develop apps and games for Android natively, since the SDK for Android uses this language. One of the most popular frameworks for Java is Spring and Struts. These allow you to build complex and large-scale applications for production use. The salary for Java developers averages $80,000 per year in the US and can go higher if you gain more years of experience. If you're planning to build applications for desktop, web and mobile apps and games for Android natively, Java is one of the great programming languages that you should consider. Number five on our list is the Swift programming language. Swift was developed by Apple in 2014. It was meant to serve as an alternative to the objective C language. The programming language was designed in order to build apps for the ecosystem of devices of Apple products. If you're planning to write apps or games for Apple devices like iPhones or Mac OS laptops, Swift is the best choice. It's easy to learn thanks to its clean syntax, making it a good programming language to pick up, especially for those just starting out with coding. Thanks to its robust and powerful IDE, which is Integrated Development Environment, Xcode, writing code and debugging with Swift is a breeze. Career-wise, it is also a great choice, since due to the overwhelming popularity of Apple products worldwide, there sure is to have demand for those who can develop apps and games for it. The average salary of a Swift developer goes around $84,000 and can go higher as you have more years of experience. Number four on our list. PHP. Created back in 1994 and now powers millions of the websites that we visit on the internet today, PHP is a powerful and versatile server-side programming language, considered one of the most popular programming languages today. The primary use of PHP is for developing back-end systems that allow websites to be interactive and dynamic. However, PHP has evolved over the years so that you can create web applications that power both the front-end and the back-end. There are many frameworks for PHP, and all of them enhance the development experience through the approach of MVC, Model View Controller, which aims to simplify and organize development by separating responsibilities, making it easier to manage and scale. The most popular frameworks for PHP are Laravel, Symfony, and Code Igniter. PHP is a great choice for beginners. It gets you involved in the ecosystem of web development. It's very easy to learn thanks to its simplistic syntax. There is never any shortage of possible projects, since most of the applications we use in this day and age of technology are web applications. There is great demand for PHP developers all around the world. The average salary for PHP developers goes around $75,000 and goes higher as you gain more experience over the years. Okay, so for our number three, we've got Golang, or Go. Go was developed by Google around 2009 and is one of the most recent programming languages to be created. Go allows you to build efficient and reliable software. Being backed by Google, it has since then grown in popularity ever since its creation. It's open source and free to use, and has a wide range of libraries and tools that you can use right away. What Go does best is the ability of your applications to run in a concurrent manner. This means running multiple instances in parallel, making it the best choice for software that handles a large amount of data. Go is widely used for cloud and network services, web development, site reliability, and DevOps. Go developers are one of the highest paid in the industry and has an average salary of $90,000, going upwards of more than $100,000 for more experienced developers. Okay, now for our top two, we've got JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the most popular programming languages today and is seen to remain going into 2023. JavaScript is known for its flexibility. Many engaging web pages or web applications we see today are made from this programming language. It's a powerful language and it's very easy to learn. The syntax for JavaScript is clean and easy to read and understand. It excels in developing modern and interactive front-end web applications. And it is even used to create mobile applications and games. There are many frameworks for JavaScript and the most popular frameworks are React, Vue.js, AngularJS, Node.js for the backend. Thanks to Node.js, you can use JavaScript to develop complex back-end applications. 
This makes JavaScript an awesome programming language to learn since you can develop front-end and back-end applications, making you a full-stack engineer. This gives you a lot of opportunities for potential jobs if you are just starting out. The average salary for a junior JavaScript developer in the US is around $65,000 per year and as you gain experience, can go on to more than $100,000 per year. Okay, so our top programming language for 2023 is Python. Python is a powerful and versatile object-oriented programming language. It's a high-level language, meaning it's easy to read and write. The syntax is easy to understand and it's used for a wide variety of purposes. You can use Python to develop web applications, back-end applications, machine learning and AI, data science and analysis, games, IoT, Internet of Things, and much more. From here, you can see why Python is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Its versatility makes it a great choice regardless of the size, organization, and the complexity of the project. There are many frameworks and libraries for Python, and it depends on the type of project that you're doing. For web development, you've got Django and Flask. For machine learning, there is TensorFlow and NumPy. There is a great demand in the market for Python developers, and they are some of the highest paid in the industry. The salary of a Python developer in the US starts at $70,000 US dollars up to $150,000 US dollars per year, depending on years of experience. If you are new to coding, Python is definitely one that you can consider given the wide array of opportunities it can bring. If you'd like to get started learning Python, CodeCloud has an amazing course that can get you from a complete beginner to a certified Python developer. You can check out these courses here and here. Coding is a challenging and rewarding experience, and I definitely recommend learning at least one of these programming languages if you want to jumpstart your career in the IT industry. Be sure to check out CodeCloud.com where you can gain access to a wide array of courses for technologies, programming languages, and tools that really matter today. I hope this video helped you out, and I'm curious about what programming language you are learning today. Please let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, the top 10 programming languages for 2023. If you like this video, please give it a like on the way out. And if you want to get updated for more top videos like this, be sure to subscribe. All the best. See you in the next one.